Big news coming out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We react to the casting announcements from this year's San Diego Comic-Con, plus our thoughts on Deadpool and Wolverine. Then, our case today is for the cat owners out there. Is it okay to play favorites with your pets? We'll render our verdicts. Stay tuned. What you are listening to is real. The parties involved are not cool. They are actual geeks with a case pending in the court of public opinion. The party's case has been dismissed, and the dispute will be settled here on our podcast. There will be no lawyers. There will be no witness testimony. The judge's decisions are final. Hello, I'm Judge Ivan. I'm Judge Jonathan, and this is Geeks on Trial. Today's case, Cat Catastrophe. Hello and welcome to Geeks on Trial. This is the podcast where we settle petty disputes between actual geeks over movies, video games, board games, and more. If you'd like to submit your own geeky case for a future episode, you can email us at geeksontrial at gmail.com. You can also help support the show over at patreon.com slash geeksontrial. For just five bucks a month, you gain early access to uh, this show and uh, the audio show if you're listening and watching and watching and listening. Plus... Geeks on Trial Sidebar, which is just another show that we do for fun. We spin wheels, we take robes off, we get into fist fights. Sometimes uh, I cut people. It's it's a great episode, great fun. Uh, it's over there at patreon.com slash geeks on trial. Oh, hello! Yeah, we just put up that... Oh, hey, I'm here too. Hi, I forgot. I, I just <laughs> hey. noticed you were here. Yeah, we just put up that one about... Uh, what was it again? <laughs> what was the last... I episode stopping. It was a good one. No idea. It was a good one. Edited. Oh, it was which superpower we would which choose. Which superpower? Yes. Okay. That was a, a good classic episode. question. That was yeah. A good episode. We could yeah. pick a superpower. We cheated. We chose more than one. <laughs> well, uh, you'll still need to watch to figure out how just how and, much we cheated. Hey, it's a three hour episode, so go enjoy that. It's not. Oh, yeah. You get a lot of content out of that. All one. the we content. spend 20 minutes on each superpower. Yep. Speaking of superpowers, what a what a goddamn segue. Oh, thank you. I just bought it from uh, on eBay. Stupid. We're talking about Marvel this week. Mm -hmm. There's some big stuff coming out of Comic-Con, but maybe we start with, before we look ahead to the future, we focus on the present slash very recent past, because Deadpool and Wolverine just uh, released in theaters this past weekend. It is the third Deadpool film. It is Hugh Jackman's return to the franchise. It is the only Marvel Cinematic Universe movie all year. This is the one for the year, wow. which is uh first time in many years that's happened. Yeah. And it has broken records. Uh, it made over $200 million its first weekend uh, domestically. And it, I believe that's a record high for an R-rated movie opening. So uh, pretty, pretty impressive. This is probably, this has got to be, as far as geeks are concerned, this is the biggest movie of the summer. I'm assuming. I, see, am I, I'm not a huge Marvel or superhero uh, fan uh, in general. There's some that I like, some that catch my eye. I like the, the older Spider-Man things. I like, uh, you know, some, some of the indie kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, this movie, uh, I, I first watched, I just watched for the first time, all the Deadpool, the Deadpool trilogy now. All two of them. All two of them. Well, I also watched the third one. Don't, right, don't be right, stupid. Right. Well, so, shit. Yeah, well, yeah. So, so these last, like, the, the last week, like, the last, like, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is how I watch these movies. And that was probably, I don't know about you, that's my order. Three. Well, you want to hear what? Two, one. Yeah. That's your ranking, you mean. Yeah. You want to hear how I uh, watched them, what, what I did last week before Deadpool 3? Watched them all at the same time. <laughs> I watched, not only did I watch Deadpool's 1 and 2, I rewatched, and for some of the movies the fur for the first time, watched all 13 X-Men films. Jesus uh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, X-Men 1, 2, and then The Last Stand, and then there's uh, Wolverine Origins, The Wolverine, Logan, there's X-Men First Class, Days of Future Past, there's um, New Mutants and uh, uh, Dark Phoenix, there's also Apocalypse, and the two Deadpool films, uh, and then the, I think that's all of them, maybe I missed one or two in there, but, but that's that's the big ones. I watched I watched them all, so I was fr I was ready, I did an intensive crash course so I would not miss a reference, and still, I wasn't. I didn't prepare as much as I thought maybe I should have. I will say this right now before we talk about the movie. Oh. If anyone is watching this who has not seen yeah, the movie. spoilers. 
just go. I mean, well, we won't. We will we'll probably end up spoiling some things. I will, there's a, there's so many. You know, if it were me, just me, I wouldn't. <laughs> but I know you won't be able to contain yourself. So, uh, just don't. Just skip ahead. Seriously, right. if you haven't seen this movie yet and you're planning on seeing it, just skip. <laughs> there will probably be spoilers. That said. I think I agree with you. I definitely agree with you. Mm. Uh, I, I I like each Deadpool, which a is wild more to me last. though, because Deadpool is such a non-traditional Marvel kind of like the first movie. There was like just straight up nudity, all kinds in the first like twenty minutes. Male, female, <laughs> other yeah, things. Yeah, well, it was Fox nude. originally, right? Right. This, this is the first time that it's uh, part of the Marvel Disney universe now. Right. So, and you could definitely tell the difference. Like there are certain things. That they did in the first two movies under the Fox ownership that they they didn't do in this movie. I don't think there was a lick of nudity in this movie. Was there really? Oh, they show there's some topless people in, but only I think that's only in the first one. Maybe one of them had that, but nothing crazy. Like you don't see anything you crazy. Saw, you saw well. There was male <laughs> like I say, nudity. You don't see Dong. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I don't think you do. Oh, you do. When? When does that happen? It's not prevalent, but like in the background when he's like bending over, there's, there's. Are you? Is this like the Reservoir Dogs when people are like, I saw him cut that ear off, and you really don't because they cut away. I never I feel heard like of that. You, your your imagination filled in the blanks because you're somebody has you, to. They made you think it was in there. Listen, I'm willing to be proven wrong. I don't think they show male genitalia in Deadpool. Or it, it could have also be been wrong. shadow, but I'm pretty sure there was something hanging in there. And go, It was a thumb. <laughs> Good for him, then. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, you could definitely tell by Disney. I don't know. Uh, no, he has big thumbs. He has big penis-like thumbs. But I, I think, like, I don't, I feel like what was sh- shocking to me is how much I thought Deadpool 3 was not watered down at all. Oh, Did right. you feel like it was? It didn't feel, minus the, the yeah. nudity and the, 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 the sex scenes, sex scenes. But I don't feel like that's... But I feel like them taking that away, they had to make up for it in other ways, which is better. <laughs> I don't think they, like, took it away on purpose. You there know? just wasn't, just like, a love that's... scene in that movie because there wasn't... In the second movie, you know, spoilers for Deadpool 2, but, you know, his girlfriend dies. Right. Well, and now I'm kind of confused about that because she's also – he undid that and, and now then she's, she's back. Also, and, but then she – I don't know. It doesn't really matter. None of that stuff that matters. Part, but yeah. I want – but so you liked the movie because I will tell you, I, I you know, I, I I knew you hadn't seen Logan because I tried to get you to watch it, but I was too I just, late. I ran out of time. <laughs> you ran out of time. Uh, and I was I was worried watching this that maybe since you're not a big Marvel head – or even this is this really this movie is all about the Fox Marvel movies. It's all about the X Men's and other properties that Fox did. was Spider Man, not Fox. No, that was Sony. That's Sony. Sony. Okay, yeah. sorry. Um, and I was I thought I wonder if Ivan will like this as much because I've so many references are inside baseball jokes. They were, and there were some characters that I had because Danny knows more of these from he he watched more of the old school cartoons than I did. Like he's not Marvel movie person, but he was Marvel kid, so he watched a lot of the cartoons and the Spider Man animated series and like so new not Spider Man uh, X Men animated series. So knew some of that stuff. Where it's like a mm. lot of the characters, like I knew, okay, spoiler, I knew Blade when they brought him in, of course. But like, I didn't know a lot of the other characters. Like the guy with the cards, didn't know who he was. But <laughs> Oh, man. But the way they yeah. did these characters, you didn't need to yeah. because they just built the personality for this movie where it was like, oh, he's funny. He's bringing, like, they're making fun of him. Like, you don't need to. So I think I feel yeah, like I'm the testament good. of the person who's like, you don't need to know these movies. You need to know the first two movies. I would say to get it. And I probably should have watched Logan because it's like, I didn't know who the girl was until they explained it in the movie. I actually think this movie is more a sequel to Logan than it is to Deadpool. I would say (laughs) that to be a fact, like I don't think this is Deadpool three. I think they Deadpool and Wolverine. I think they should have a Deadpool three that ties like there has to be another Deadpool (laughs) movie. There's going to be until, until he's 90 is what they say in the movie. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, we'll but break. my but, uh, so this was a very funny movie, very comedic, more comedic than I think than one and two, which is mm. why I think I liked it more. But there was some mm. of the breaking of the fourth wall that they've always done for all these movies that I think they did a little bit too much of in this movie. Like, sure, the other two movies, he was like, oh, yeah, Ryan Reynolds, he's a cutie or what, you know, that kind of stuff. Whereas, like, he kind <laughs> of did that a lot in this movie. And I was kind of like, okay, yeah. maybe that's a little bit too much. 
<laughs> Maybe that's where the the references for you is not necessarily knowing them, but the, just them going full all out for it now because it's yeah. so they're it's, al- they're able to now, right? And they have part of this universe. They definitely have the money now. Well, I'm sure they had money. Like Fox isn't a small time studio. But, like, you know, there are some jokes in this where it's like, okay, we're clearly making fun of Fox, like them fighting in front of the 20th Century Fox logo, like that kind of <laughs> yeah. stuff. And it was very action packed, but it wasn't as stereotypical Marvel movie as number two was. Mm, number two for me, there was like sound effects that, like, for a period of time, and what was that, 2018? Some, somewhere around there, yeah. That's like every Marvel movie kind of had the same, like, action soundtrack mm. and, like, the, the punching noises was like, okay, they just we went into the Marvel <laughs> folder and pulled some stuff out, which is, this is my gripe with Marvel movies that a lot of them are the same movie. Sure. But, I don't know that I have that, but it's no, fine. No, that's fine. But, like, you know, this... It, it, this this was time a, you got the snicket. snicket this was snicket. more enjoyable, I think, that, than I thought it was going to be. Well, I'm glad I'm glad that the references landed for you. I, I will... Uh, like, because maybe there's just more layers to it because... The guy with the cards, as you call him, mm-hmm. <laughs> Gambit. Right. <laughs> Part of what's so amazing about that, he's played by Channing Tatum, who it has been rumored and he has talked about it for maybe a decade or more that there was going to be a Gambit movie starring Channing Tatum. So this isn't just references to characters. This is references to real life behind the scenes right. movie news. Like they announced this stuff is like during this movie. Deep cut yeah. nerd references, <laughs> which is what makes it so great. And uh, it's great that it's landing with people because they really, you know, there's a different time mm. when a studio might have said, you can't, no one will get that. And they wouldn't have let them do it. Right. And I'm so glad they just went all out. I was laughing so much throughout this whole movie the oh, yeah. whole theater was cracking up i had i loved it i had a great time it really fulfilled like everything i wanted i'm excited i would lo- i want to see it again when i'm a little more level headed because a part of it is there's just so much fan service it's almost like watching the mario movie <laughs> right <laughs> where i was so excited just to be like oh ah! So like it's so rapid fire coming at well, you. Well, it definitely reminds me, of like you know, like being at a convention or whatever, and them being like, "This is the new thing. Here's the other thing that you want." Like you're right. Now I want to go back and watch like the story. And like, also Loki, maybe you should maybe you should want to watch Loki the TV show. <laughs> maybe uh, you don't, no. but that's another that is another prevalent uh, tie into this. But it was like, oh, it was really good. It was really funny. It was really, it wasn't like it was action packed, but not like crazy action packed. But still, the best character in the entire Great action, I thought, in the entire movie was that dog. Dog pool number dog pool. one. <laughs> I we we, went, we were at a mall when we saw this movie, and we walked past a uh, Hot Topic or a Spencer's, and I'm like, let's see if they made a a plushie of this yet, because I'd buy that. Oh, they. I don't know if it's in stores, but I've seen them. They exist somewhere. I'd, I'd buy that. That was the best character in the entire movie. That, you know, that's that dog in real life. Uh, her name is Peggy. It was voted the ugliest, ugliest dog. Yeah. In in Britain, I believe. But I don't think I don't know if it's ugly. It's more so just a stroke. I don't know what happened to the tongue. <laughs> That's a, just a miracle of nature, is mm-hmm. what that is. Uh, so so we both are big fans. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm really really happy with it. Why don't we look forward for a minute? Because the Megaton news broke out of Comic Con on the Marvel movie front. Who's Megaton? Is that a new movie I need to watch out for? I'll I'll let you know afterwards. It's the end okay. credit scene. Um, which by the way, I hope you stayed for the end credits of Deadpool. Do you 3, not know who I am? You you did. I did. I saying. stay for the end credits okay. for every okay. movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm gl- I just I'm the guy <laughs> they walk up to and mop around. <laughs> All right. We had that discussion. All right. So anyway, at Comic Con, they announced that the next two Avengers movies, mm-hmm. uh, which previously had no directors attached, the Russo brothers will be returning to make those movies. These <laughs> are the guys who did the last two Avengers movies, as well as uh, two Captain America films. Uh, they also announced that uh, Doctor Doom is going to feature heavily. One of the these Avengers movies is called Avengers Doomsday. Previously, they were leading up to Kang as the big villain. Uh, that all seems to have been completely flushed away since the actor Jonathan Majors uh, got prosecuted for uh, sexual assault and other oh, yeah, that, crimes. That'll do it. <laughs> um, the but the big the big mic drop moment. No, thank was you. that Dr. Doom is going to be played by none other than Robert Downey Jr. He will be returning to the MCU as a different 
character, the Fantastic Four villain, Doctor Doom. Now, am I correct in assuming that you have don't know anything about the Fantastic Four or Doctor Doom or any of that? I watched the old Fantastic Four movies. Oh, I've never actually seen those ones. <laughs> I, I, I went to the theaters for all of them, I think, back in the day. Damn, all of them? I mean, I think there's two, but... Well, yeah. Well, um, there, and then there was a new, or there was, like, another reboot, so there's a few. But I'm not... I'm never a fan of when that happens. Like, Robert Downey Jr. is in the MCU as Iron Man. Mm-hmm. You're mm-hmm. done. Mm-hmm. Your character is this. <laughs> uh-huh. Like, it actually... It, it, like, upsets me when that happens. Because, <laughs> well, think... A, there's other actors who can play these roles. It, it makes true, more sense true. to get somebody. But second, like, you are known as this character in these mm-hmm. movies and it's not like he's it was a small like oh we just did one movie no you were in like what like seven <laughs> movies as iron man like well, seven probably more but yeah. yeah so like i do like that's stupid in my opinion <laughs> okay here's here's my take on it um uh number one i do just think i mean i think robert Downey jr is a great actor oh yeah i think yeah there's a he could probably pull this character off in a vacuum very well. Number two, I'm just excited that we're gonna we're getting Fantastic Four and Doctor Doom in a big way. Um, there's a I, at number three. It's a smart move on Marvel's part. Clearly, both of these decisions are them saying uh, some of our movies lately haven't been doing as hot as they used to. Even though Deadpool excluded because that's and Guardians did very right. well. So, some have done very well. Others have not done as well. But this definitely is them saying. Let's go back to what we know works. Okay. When did we make our most billions of dollars? One, the mm. Russo brothers. Two, Robert Downey Jr. This is our, and also, we need to do something quick because we screwed up Kang. We don't have a Kang anymore. What can we do to get audiences exciting, excited Robert without Downey. having to make five more movies? You get Robert Downey Jr. in there. Boom, right. you're done. Um, I'm very curious how they do it. I'm definitely not uh, as negative as you. There's a couple – it just really depends how they do it because, first of all, D- Dr. Doom usually wears a mask. So are right. we maybe just never going to see his face? Which, honestly, maybe. would help my side <laughs> because yeah. he is a – A, he's visually – like, that Robert Downey Jr. hasn't changed his looks in forever. He's gotten actually more looking like Iron Man in real life. <laughs> Secondly, he's very, like – he plays one person, like – he is Robert Downey Jr. Like he's at that point. Uh, often he is, but I think that's a lot. I feel like if you watch some of his movies, there are he can do more than that. Right. So hopefully I, he I does. Think we're just used to it. Yeah, I think he will. I I think it will be different. And if it's like, just I the don't voice. Think he's, I I don't know because it's it's hard to say. There are, I have seen speculation. This is completely not confirmed, uh, but some people are wondering if maybe. We're gonna maybe this is an alternate universe mm. where Tony Stark became Doctor Doom, right. but they have said that he's actually playing Victor Von Doom, which is the real character's name. So uh, there's, there's also a chance that this could be a misdirect. There's so many. Right. They all they're tr- they always try to like keep spoilers and stuff from the public before the movie comes out. I don't know. There's ways they could do this bad. I'm mostly excited to see. Now, is there anyone else you would like to see play this role? Like, is there anybody else? Because, like, there are definitely other people who can play this that will give other actors, uh, uh, not just a chance, because whatever, but, like, just, uh, uh, like, do you see, like, I don't know if you know this character from other things in the past, but, like, do you have, like, somebody that came to mind before they said Robert Downey Jr.? I don't know that I did specifically that I felt really strongly about. I mean, I've seen other people uh, maybe throw out names like Mads Mikkelsen, mm. who's um, Hannibal on mm-hmm. the Hannibal show that you haven't watched. Um, and he was amazing, and he would make it play a great villain. Right. Or, you know, maybe someone like... Uh, the problem is, I don't really know like I, what angle they're going for in this movie mm-hmm. because there's there's so many versions of Fantastic Four where some, there's like younger takes on the right. characters. and Like, how old is Victor Von Doom? Are we seeing flashbacks? Like, what which Doom is this? Right, yeah. It's hard for me to really <laughs> know what their plan is. So right now I'm just kind of like just trusting in the system. Uh, Fantastic Four is coming out next summer. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna see him in that movie, I assume. And yeah. then the Avengers movies are the following two years. So and I looked it up. It was uh, the 2015 versions are the ones I saw, I believe. Oh, the 2015. That's like recent. There's a, there's one of those, right? The Josh Trank. It's like much darker. It has yeah. um, Michael B. Jordan as as uh, a human torch. So I, I saw, I think I saw that one and the ones 
when we were in high school. Or okay, so you, saw, oh, so you saw those too. Yeah, yeah, the more colorful ones. Those are the ones that like I think early two thousands. Like I enjoyed those. I didn't enjoy the newer ones, but whatever. I don't. Was... I have not seen any of them. I have never. I've heard mostly only bad things about any of them. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, so that's also why you know there's a lot riding on this Fantastic Four that. Oh, I've also seen the, the ones the, one. the, the the Arrested Development ones that I also count as canon. <laughs> of course, yeah, from mm-hmm. season four yep. of Arrested Development, mm-hmm. yeah. That's important. That's important. Uh, but anyway, it's some crazy stuff. It's some big shakeups it's a going big, on. Big, we'll... big Marvel time. Now it was uh, it, yeah. Comic Con over. Comic Con. I believe it's by the certainly by the time, time this episode airs. goes okay. up. Yeah, it's done. Uh, but yeah, I think that was the most earth shattering announcement that came out of it. But there, I'm sure there are some other trailers and things here and there. But nothing as fine. big for this kind of thing. Was there any DC announcements for movies? Because have they been? They're working on new super that new Superman. James Gunn is kickstarting okay. a whole new universe, but um, I don't think they've talked about it yet because they don't. I mean, they have a lot of manpower behind their movies, but it's like this is literally Disney. You have Disney money, and so there's always a bunch of like, oh, we can announce 25 movies for the next 10 years, and Disney <laughs> has that that power to like be doing that. Yeah, except for when it doesn't always work out, when they change the names of an Avengers or when they say they're going to make a Blade movie and that doesn't happen for 10 years. Well, is that why they – spoiler alert for the last well, well, week. Maybe, well, well, all right, fine. It's too Who cares? Late. It's, I was going to timestamp so that you could skip the Deadpool spoilers and just hear this part of the discussion. Oh, all right. Well, we can just say there's a joke about Blade and Deadpool and Wolverine, and yes, that's why they made that Yeah, that's joke. why I was – okay. <laughs> yeah, how's that? There you go. All right. All right. Uh, so I, I think we're good. Any Anything else we need to... No. We're good? Let's talk cats. Let's talk cats. The other geeky screw, passion of Screw all mine. these comics and, and the, the, the MCU. When do they bring... I ca- like two things. Deadpool and cats. And we're all out of Deadpool? Yeah, yeah. That's right. All right. <laughs> Today's case comes to us from the internet. You can find a link in our episode description. Our defendant today is Felix. Felix has a girlfriend, Arlene, who is a cat owner. Felix loves cats too, though. In fact, he's currently taking care of one of Arlene's two kittens, a tabby, until it is old enough to be neutered. One day, Arlene shows Felix a series of photos of her cats and discovers that Felix only really reacts positively to the tabby that is currently in his care. When confronted about this fact, Felix admits that the tabby is his favorite cat, which upsets Arlene because she says that he should love all of her cats equally. And now she doesn't want to discuss her cats with Felix at all. In fact, she's taken the tabby back home and Felix is upset because he might not get to hear about those cats going forward who he now has somewhat of an attachment to. As dual judges here on Geeks on Trial, it's now our job to determine whether Felix is right to say that this tabby is the cat's pajamas, or if Arlene deserves to take one of his nine lives. So you just don't like normal? <laughs> normal says nothing. There's no normal involved in this. Arlene is, is Felix the, and Arlene. She's from the Garfield lore, right? What's that got to? What's the, that, that's just a name that happened to be the mm. name of the person in this case. Don't Any, I don't even read Garfield. That's... I'm more of a Heathcliff guy. You would be. You would be. <laughs> <laughs> now, cats. This On is Broadway, a look. Now, look, people. There's geeks for cats. There are cats are a big subculture in the geek world as well. Sure, cat memes, cat funny cat videos, Mario cat, cat Mario. Yeah, yep, yeah. Garfield, Garfield, yep. Garfield cat. Heathcliff, Heathcliff, cat, Felix, dogs, Strays. That video game that came out it was a cat-based video game. St- just Stray. Strays was the dog movie <laughs> that was R-rated. Oh, okay. <laughs> Singular Stray. There might have been a Don't cat. Don't make that strays. mistake if you're picking up a game for your for your kids, grandma or your grandkids. What'd you call me? I called you grandma That's as weird. I often do when That's we're weird. alone. So, uh, yeah, so, I mean, people collect cats sometimes, much like they right. might collect stamps or mm-hmm. video games. And you can also keep a cat in a book. I keep my cats in a book. Put a little glue on the back, put them in a, in a cat book. Just uh, lick, lick, yeah. lick the back and stick them right in there. Well, I, put, um, I, I get the claws removed and just put uh, suction cups and put them in my car. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. You, you actually surgery replace mm-hmm. each claw with a suction cup. Yep. 
a living, breathing Garfield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, toy. oh, the cats do not like it. It's very upsetting to the cats. But no. hey, oh. hey, some people have to have their things. It's and worth that's it though. My thing. So I don't own cats. I used to own cats. My uh, growing up, we had we had cats, and and later in life. As a, a high schooler, college student, we had two cats at home, so I am uh, I am a cat lover. Uh, I'm more so, more so than dogs, I would say. Sometimes I am I am I am wow. I'm, I am team, controversy is brewing. Team cat Uh-oh. and pineapple goes on pizza. What? What are you gonna do? No one does. Anyone does? Any, is that even controversial anymore? Doesn't everyone agree pizza, pineapple, and pizza is good at this point? People who are just want to start shit. It's it's normalized now. It's right. mainstream. And also, put on whatever you want in your damn pizza. It's 2024. Yeah, and ketchup on a hot dog. You have to allow that if you're going to fight for pineapple on pizza. I do. You can't. I don't have to like it. <laughs> but you got to be I'm fair a, and a, balanced. I'm a mustard onion man myself. Yes, you are in many ways. That is true. Um, I am also a famously a cat person. Mm-hmm. From the, from the also, ears that you wear and the costume that you put on before you go to bed at night, I grew up with cats mm-hmm. in my home since I was since I was born. There's been cats in my home. Uh, other than being at college, uh, you know, I don't think I've not had a cat in my life for more than a period of maybe a year. They don't allow you to bring your pets to mine were with me in college. I brought my cats with me. Well, yours were, it was easier to take care of them because you just stuck them stuck in the window. into the windows. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, that's really realistic. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. They didn't ask you any questions. Please feed uh, them. I currently, currently own two cats, Dos Gatos. They as own the Spanish you. Say. You don't own them. Oh, those that's how it is with those you. cats. They, they're they really the ones who run the household. It's true. So I uh, I, re- I relate. I I, uh, I get it. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm in this cat position. Uh, you may oh, not have cats wait, now. Hold on. What? What's, I'm in cat position. What's cat position? There's doggy, but what's cat position? What? <laughs> it's where you stretch. Again. It's where you stretch your leg out really far and lick. Yeah, that's. We're saving this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're saving. That's this for the again. Patreon. Uh, once again, what did I, I was started to say once again. I forgot what was once again. Once oh, yeah. again, you may you may not have cats now, but you uh, do live in a household with dogs. Yes. So you so you've you've also been in the situation of having multiple dogs, multiple pets. Yes. At the same time. Yes. So the you know the big question here is do you play favorites? Do you have a favorite? Now it might be different for you because like I I don't think all of the dogs that live with you like you didn't choose these dogs or grow up with these dogs. No. And technically, I don't know, what's your technically I didn't choose any of the dogs. I I I live with my 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 you, partner and my in laws. So that we have you four, uh, inherited them. <laughs> we have four dogs, but one of them is technically ours. You know, Eddie is our dog that we. We'll be taking when we leave. So yes, yes, we 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 do have a favorite, and it would be Eddie, is our is our is our little fur fur boy. I will not <laughs> right. say the other fur b word. Fur girl, baby. Oh, I hate that. I thought I thought you were gonna say fur bitch. <laughs> fur bitch. <laughs> oh, that's no, a me, subcategory that's a, on porn. Well, that's fur. That's fur. Sorry, it's a furby. Mm-hmm. It's what? a fur bitch. Uh, right, that's going to be the new edgy line of right. Furbies. Um, fur bitch, my little fur bitch. That's okay, different. Uh, but but again, that's you know, it's really that's your dog, and right. then there's other dogs. Like we love all the dogs, but you know, that's he comes to us. He you know he knows our names. Like it's it's he comes to us now. But it's also different when you have four. And by the way, I don't have four. Like they're all like Mount Maltese, so they're like they're like the size of a cat. <laughs> they're all German shepherds and they're, I have Great Danes. Saint Bernards. Yeah, yeah. So you have um, two. You have you have two. I got two goddess. cats. Do you, is one of them? Because out of two, it's hard. Is one your oh, favorite? Oh yeah, one of them sucks shit. <laughs> no, I I we just I see love a them cat both fly the in the frame, just full claws out. <laughs> I do love them both the same. Of course I do. I mean, I I feel like most pet owners, mm-hmm. hopefully, uh, probably all of them, uh, a lot of them, if you have more than one pet, you got to love them all the same. Right. Um, uh, it, when I was growing up, also, there was a time when I had two cats uh, as a kid. That was your I rap mean, name, kid, too. Then. Two cats, yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I wasn't very successful. No. Um, I, uh, I didn't, I loved them the same as well. I don't, I don't want to, that's, to me, that's like picking a favorite kid. 
You can't pick a favorite kid. That's that's just go. that's just wrong. And you, you tell them to you... their face, I don't like you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my parents sure did. Right. I get it. You get postcards <laughs> once a week. I don't care for Job. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> But uh, the biggest laughs on our show is when mm-hmm. we just quote Arrested Development. <laughs> that's how you know who we are. That's just, yeah. So yeah, so yeah. yeah, so you don't have a favorite cat you never have because no. they're, they're both they're both cats. It's hey cats, here they are. They're all the same. I love them both, and it's not like uh, you know. I, I maybe there's a scenario where oh maybe I mean there could be situations where you have a, a cat or a dog multiple and one just is mean <laughs> right. or or one is more standoffish and but then there's sometimes too friendly. it's like they a dog picks or a cat picks their human as well so mm-hmm. it's like especially mm-hmm. if there's multiple people in a household they're going to go to that person and uh, you know they are with them now it also there's different because you got your two cats at the same time so it's sure, not like you yeah. had one cat for a while got another cat and it's that so it's like you know at, one, at that point they're just they're one cat they're one cat. They're, one They're a cat. package deal. Mm-hmm. It's definitely different with cats than dogs, I think, too, because... It's like cats and dogs? I, 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 cats are more... It doesn't really matter if a cat, like, loves you or not. Well, that, I was going to say the opposite, because cats don't love you. <laughs> no, no. Cats do love you, but they are, you know, a do- the reason you get a dog is unless you're, you know, you know to fight with it. Enter it into the tournaments. That's what I do. <laughs> it's yeah, right. No, we all have I our don't. different uses for them. Oh, well, I don't know. I heard one thing. Uh, you usually you want a dog because dogs are the ones that love you and they jump on you and they are ha- happy when you come home. Right. And some cats are like that. And some cats will be, be excited and they'll they might sit in your lap all day and follow right. you around. And some cats are not like that. And this is true for dogs too. But you know, speaking in generalities. Uh, I feel like more often you hear about the cats that are more selective right. or like a dog. Just, you could forget to feed for like a month and it'll still be, I love you. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Yes. A cat. You glow. If you're gone for a day and even someone else came in to feed them, they are pissed. Right. They're like, I'm not talking to you, bitch. Right. Where the hell were you? Right. They're like, I love um, him now. He gave me food. Thank you. So I think there is part of being a cat owner. That's like, just again, just like having a kid. It's not like if you have like if one of your kids a shitty teenager, you're not like, man, I fucking hate that kid. <laughs> like you still, you still gotta love right, that right. kid. You're just like that's how the it. kid is. That's, they're I gonna get claw it. my feet. It's fine. That's kind of how a cat right. is. Now, you know? all right, but you're not one of those, and neither am I. You're not one of those cat people where like everything is your cat. You're not one of those people who have a. Uh, uh, this is gonna make me vomit. A fur baby. Furbitch? You don't have a fur baby. <laughs> You're not one of those people where it's like, oh, Maybe everything hmm, everything is know. cats is your life. You don't have like a cat sweatshirt on. Like, like you're not that person where everything, <laughs> you know those people. Yeah, I'm not a, the stereotype of a cat lady. Right. Not yet. No. Not yet. There's still time. Uh, no. Listen, if I had the space, uh, sure, maybe I'd have eight cats. <laughs> oh well, I told you the other day. It's either two or like twelve. You can't <laughs> can't go over that line just a little bit. It's a thin line. Wake up in the right morning the and just throw the bag of food on the floor, and it's there's one bag a day for all the cats. Yeah, it's that kind of thing. Yeah, but you're not you're you're never that kind of like that. They're not your children. They're, they're you're your pets. You, you chill with like. Sure, I love them like my children. And in uh, fact, I love them more than human children right. or uh, pretty Humans. much any human yeah. being. Absolutely. Uh, but I tried to uh, curb that and not be gross and weird about it right. in front of other people. Uh, you know, I do have an Instagram where the only thing I do is post pictures of my cats. Right. Well, because nobody wants to see anything else. What else? What am I going to? What else am I going right. to post? My my dinner? Who right. gives a shit? Your here's feet? Here's a cat. Like, no, here's that's a cat. That's what you want. Right. Yeah, you got to pay for the feet. Right. That's behind a paywall. Patreon.com slash Keeps on Trial. for free. Now, oh, that's how you rein them in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You get them for free. Now, let's bring this up case. this case a yeah. little bit. This is about this is uh, other question for if you would you would you okay. hey no would you date somebody who wasn't into cats <laughs> who wasn't into cats like who doesn't like ah uh, not a fan of cats they're okay but uh, would you be like this this is what I have these are my I'm not like sure I okay. date anybody oh. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, don't have, there's no, yeah, there's no standards for that. Oh, okay. Would you date? Yes. 
<laughs> it's come to that point in your life. Would you? Yep. Yeah, mm. Are they willing? Never mind. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yes, I'll, I would it. date them. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, they. I, you know, it would be. It, I. I couldn't date someone who said you must get rid of those cats. Well, yeah, that's. If I you would. want to be with me, right? <laughs> and I wouldn't also date like Cruella Deville. That would be you a deal breaker. Be... Come on now. That if she's coat? like great cats, can I have them? <laughs> And <laughs> uh, just holding a knife and licking her lips. <laughs> I wouldn't huh. date Alf either. I wouldn't let oh, him into my house. Right? Yeah, because eating your cat. Well, well, I would, but I'd keep a close eye on that. Well, at that point, sucker. Alf would be your pet. Alf's a pet. <laughs> sure, he's kind of like a pet. Uh, but in this case, we have two people who both love cats. Right. They are cat lovers. Um, uh, Felix says you know, he only doesn't have cats uh, because his family doesn't let him have cats, mm. and he's temporarily watching. Just this one cat. I'm not really sure about the logistics of it. I guess it's because they're kittens and it's a lot. It's a handful. Do they wear mittens? Kind of, sometimes they wear mittens. Yeah. Now, don't interrupt me again for something that's stupid. How old is Felix? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> don't know. Don't know the answer to that question. Wasn't given to us. So we'll just have to strike that from the record. Mm. But... Uh, yeah, they each currently have a cat, but they are ultimately Arlene's cat responsibilities. And uh, this uh, I, I, this weird little thing she does where she shows him some pictures of the cats yeah. and takes note of his reactions to them. Mm-hmm. And uh, I also don't know if it sounds like maybe Arlene has more than just these two cats. I'm not really sure. Well, it sounded maybe like she does kittens. because she has a collection of photos, but I'm not sure it's a collection of photos of... Only All her cats, cat, the same cats. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's some there's some control subjects in there. Right, to there's keep some the experiment. <laughs> some some world's famous cats. You know. Yeah, dog pool is in there for a second. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, so this, yeah, it does. It is. I don't. It's not really clear to me if she's purposefully doing this. Uh, Felix seems to feel like she is doing this to test him. Oh, I 100% think she is. She's like trying to be like, <laughs> it's just kind of like a, 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 this is the crazy ex-girlfriend kind of like that, that meme from like 40 years ago of her. She's like, Oh, you mean the stalker? Like uh, that girlfriend? kind of vibe yeah, that I'm getting not, Cause from... there is a, there's a TV show called crazy ex-girlfriend. Oh, is there? So people will be confused. Oh, yes. okay. It's not from that. No, it's a stalker crazy that. The tilt the head. Yes, the girlfriend. big eyes. Yeah. The big eyes. Um, I, I kind of I get that vibe from her. It's like, I need you to take this this cat test. I love the I love the uh, just your psychic. I get the vibe from the girl who's described in a secondhand account. Yeah. that I read. Oh, I you don't feel those vibes. Um, I feel the vibes coming off the court cases. They're handwritten yeah, yeah, yeah. to us. So I, I, feel I like, just like to, I try to be impartial. That's I, all. I, I try not to put these judgments out there. Well, that no, it's what we're, we're judging though. Yeah, I don't like to do my job. Oh, you know, hmm. I try to avoid as much hmm. as possible. No, but I'm I'm I definitely mean, I'm definitely getting a weird feeling. Like a it's, yeah. it, don't test your significant other with stuff like this, especially when they're like <laughs> they're kind of doing you a solid. You don't like the what about all the the shit where they're like, hey, ask your boyfriend to peel an orange for you, you or apply chapstick. Have you heard of that 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 one? No, that one I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of it's roughly the same thing. I don't know the orange one, but it's just like. If they if he says no, then dump him. <laughs> it's just like they're, they're supposed to be like, yeah, of course, babe, I'll get you some water too, or whatever right. they want you to say. Yeah. Um, it's these like TikTok trends that are just designed to split up couples. Right. It was, and back in the day, it was like what the Vogue magazine like tests. How are these couples? Yeah, like how are these couples? Ask your fiance these questions. And it's just basically yeah, there to start, right, start right. a fighting match between the, the couple. But I kind of <laughs> right, like, right. Uh, that's the vibe, um, the feeling, the 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 omen, omen? It's Felix. Uh, I'm getting from this. Well, I think that's not unfair. It's possible that she just wanted to show some pictures and she, the reactions she noticed were extreme. I'm having trouble picturing what these reactions were that it was so obvious that <laughs> he's just looking at all of them and it's just like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh! Right. Okay. Right. Okay. It was like probably how? because it was it, it, so. This says it was via FaceTime, so I don't know right. how Face. They FaceTime weren't even is in just person Skype. together. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can send. I was assuming you know. she was like just showing him, like she just had a she's a giant wall of cat photos, 
<laughs> that are tied together. She has it has the red string on it, maybe, so she ties her answers maybe together. Two cats next to each other. She's just putting the camp phone back and forth. Right. Huh? 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 It's like the Futurama uh, Snoo Snoo <laughs> episode. I was also thinking um, better one, better two. When you get your eyes done, be- mm-hmm. cat tabby <laughs> right. or other cat. <laughs> yes, it's that. If she is, if this is an intentional test. And even if it's not, it's a little weird. It is weird that she like is is ju- like oh, she wasn't just showing him these pictures. She was judging like, oh, every like, oh, you didn't. Why didn't? Why didn't you say a, a yay sound for this one? <laughs> but well, I'm assuming <laughs> also he had a buzzer too. Bing. <laughs> eh, eh, he was also eh. rating them. He was swiping right or left <laughs> right. as yeah. he saw each one. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of. I don't begrudge her for noticing or even commenting on it, but the extreme is the is getting upset about it. Well, right, really... which is why I went with the, what I was thinking of of like she was testing him because like she took this cat away. Right, <laughs> right. Because I yeah right. Well, that's the whole other thing. Which she, to be fair, she, it's not like this. She was gonna take this cat back eventually at some a point. temporary right. arrangement, like a month or two, something like that. Uh, but yeah, she took it back early. Uh, having said that, I would never pick a favorite of my own cats. I definitely can, would pick favorites of other people's pets. By the way, mm, <laughs> those aren't my kids. Right? Like, oh, this is the one that talks to me at the party. That's right. my favorite one right. that I want to take. So it is a little different if it's your significant other. But they don't live together. They didn't pick these cats out together. It doesn't right. sound like. And it seems like he's known. The, like, if they've been dating for let's say a year, let's just—I don't know if we have it exact dates. Or anything sure but he's been to her house i'm assuming so he knows these cats yeah. semi-personally if they're the kind of cats that come they out. are young they've only been i think they're only maybe a, a few months couple months old or something but okay yeah but still though like would know these cats enough to but like so then why was she i, I just don't understand why she was showing him pictures of cats to begin with because that's what people with cats do they show you pictures of their cats but like <laughs> He goes to her place, though. Like it seems, I'm, I'm assuming. But th- but he hasn't seen the pictures of the okay. cats doing something All right. different. All right. Well, that's... <laughs> Does he not go to her Instagram? Yeah, but sometimes, like, hey, the, look, the cat did something. The cat's sitting on a chair. Look, you got to show but, someone no, the no, cat on the that's chair. That's fine. I think like those, but it seems like she was like going through like, oh, oh this like is a photo album. <laughs> this is cat one. This is like showing him the different cats. It almost feels. Yeah, like. I guess that maybe that is. You're right. That's a little weird. If it's like you're going here's my cat log. All the ones I took in the past day. This is this morning's cat photos. Right. <laughs> it's but time even to go that, to our daily cat. But that would be fine. Of like, oh, but it's like it seemed like. It was like, oh, it's going through different cats. Oh, Hard to say. The tabby I showed once, and he... <laughs> Ding! Yeah. Hard to say. I don't know. It's just so weird. Uh, that like, this, The whole situation is weird. It's cute. Don't get me wrong. I, I do love most cats, but in picture form, maybe the cat was doing something cute. We don't know what the picture was. All the rest well, of the cats yeah. could have just been laying down on the floor. <laughs> this one could have been like... Being cute. The tabby, the tabby was doing tricks and flips in the air. The other cats were uh, just got hit by a car. They were right, on the side t- of the road. <laughs> t- but wait, so when she showed, why him don't this, you like those ones better? Yeah. When she was showing this photo, was that cat still in? That cat was in his possession. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Yes. So, like, wouldn't you be like excited because that cat was sitting next to you? If anything, it might be the opposite. I'd be like, "Why are you showing me? I'm literally looking at this cat." <laughs> picks up. You mean this one? <laughs> Why are you showing that cat? Yeah, I don't know what's exactly going on in this relationship. That they're this bored, or that they like each other this much that they're just right. FaceTiming, looking at cat pictures together. But like, I'm I've trying, never like, had anyone like that. I'm trying to get my mind in this because, like, okay, fine. The rest of the cats, he is like, he's probably seen them. He's like, okay, these are your cats. Oh, this is the cat that's next. For all we know, the cat was in earshot. He had to put on a good face for this cat. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We've seen, yeah, go, you can't. We've seen cats kill them. people at night. They're gonna, they're gonna do that shit. That's the main time they do it. But at that point in time, like he's had this cat for a few days while he was watching it. That's the one that's going to make him light up more, in my opinion. That's how I would be, because it's it's there. This is the one he's like feeding uh, the, the, these days, and and you know, it's probably in the bed with it. Like this is for a few days his cat. So oh, you know, like yeah, right, right, yeah, 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 yeah. You you, you expect a little bit of a you, a spike of serotonin right <laughs> comes up on that the cat's screen there. 
<laughs> right. They're they're more familiar with it. Just like when you if you're looking at pictures of people you don't know, and then one comes up, you know, you go, ah, oh, I know that. Right. Yeah. I know that person. Yeah. There's well, science behind this. A lot of times for this me, is it's a scientific like, study. Show me a picture of somebody. It's oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. Felix also says that he grew up with the tabby, and that is part of why he's like nostalgic for his childhood cat. Mine is a tabby. Can you? What? What are other like? Is tabby the color or the breed of the cat? It's very, it's very complicated. No, tabby's the pattern of the fur. Okay. Really. So that's kind of like the most basic, kind of stripy looking cat that you can imagine. There's like brown tabby, gray tabby. There's different. Because when I think of a tabby, of tabby, I think of a more of like the striped, gingery colored cat, like a red hair. Yeah, that could yeah. be one too. I mean, there's like orange. <laughs> well, yeah, there's... that's why I wasn't like because I know well, usually like the different... breed is would probably be short hair. Mm. Um, but but then there's just different patterns, or like like a calico, right? Okay, a tortoise shell. Those are all like really more refer to the colors. It's not cats are different from dogs. They're not right. quite as distinct, but other than like a few distinct breeds, because but. like I definitely like tabby is like the only like name I. Know. It's like oh black cat, white cat, tabby. Like that's yeah yeah tuxedo is the tuxedo other one cat. that uh, Arlene has mm. yeah, and of course then you've got your Abyssinian. Mm-hmm. You've got your Siamese. Mm-hmm. You've got your uh, Russian blue. Mm-hmm. You've got your Sphinx and your mm-hmm. Rex, your Cornish mm-hmm. Rex. You've got your uh, Maine Coon. Yep, that's I have uh, my my mom has a Maine Coon. They're, that's, they're that's, those are the best. That's what Frankie is. <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah. They're they're just they're like dogs. Those that, are dogs as cats. <laughs> that is a dog cat. And now that he's getting older, he's just a <laughs> stupid dog cat. It's great. It's great. <laughs> that's fun. Um. I think we're ready for a verdict. Yeah, I'm ready for my verdict. I'm going to let you go first since you're a cat man. Ba-da-ba-ba-bee, okay, that's the cat man. Bop, bop, bada, boat. That's, that's right. Bop, bop, bada, boat. Uh, I think it's... If if these were um, Felix's own cats mm-hmm. that he lived with mm-hmm. and that he adopted, I think I would definitely be feeling some kind of way about him picking favorites. What kind of way? I think it's, I think it's wrong to pick favorites of your own cats you should lo- you should love them all the same uh, uh, someone else's cats i don't think you are obligated to love them all the same uh, if it's a significant other it gets a little bit trickier more so if you live with them it's a little bit more of a thin line and i could understand in certain scenarios maybe being a little peeved by this or being like what's wrong with you that's not okay but not in a real serious way i think i think that arlene just really took this way too far and um you know maybe felix just should not have admitted to having a favorite <laughs> maybe he should have not have he should have just been like what are you talking about but nonetheless it's it's his honest reaction he can't help it she, she, he didn't intentionally do anything to hurt anyone. These cats don't know or care who their favorite is. <laughs> he's, they're not, he's not, not feeding one less than the other. <laughs> so uh, at the end of the day, ultimately, in conclusion, I got to say he's not guilty. I mean, technically he is feeding the rest he is less feeding one than less. one. Yes. No, he's feeding yes. the rest than one. He's over. but yeah, I, he's not feeding one of them at all. Right. So right, which yeah. is bad. So I do, I do have to agree with you. And unless this is like a like cats is her life, but this would be different Memory, if you all alone in the moonlight. Now they don't live together either. This is another thing too. It's like they they. They are young and in a relationship, and it's like, oh, I need young. you to watch this cat. I need you to do whatever. And fine, he's watching said cat. Like I said before, it's said cat that's in his possession made him perk up. I also want to know what the relationship, uh, the, the the cat, cat is. No, what they're like. <sighs> I forgot what I was going to say. Kind of just went right out of my head. The relationship between two boyfriend and ferns. girlfriend. <laughs> Well, I wanted uh-huh. to, hey, like knowing an age would probably help. Like this is like two high school kids. This is like a whole different thing. But yeah, I, I do agree that like I think she overreacted for something that she was trying to maybe get a test out of him or like I, I get the vibe that she might have been trying to test him over the cat. But by saying he's evil and by saying that like, oh, you can't watch this cat anymore because 
you liked it too much is just kind of stupid because like, wouldn't you want, if you showed him the picture of that cat and he was like, ugh, wouldn't you be like, why? What's what's happening? What's going on with the cat? What, right. If he just like threw up and like threw the cat across the room, red flag, my guy. But, you know, I would have to say that, you know. He's got a dartboard of the picture of the cat on it. What it, You said not guilty, right, for him? That's what I said, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, why wouldn't you? Like, she seems like a complete <laughs> wackadoo for doing this. And I have to say he's not guilty. I think that I could be persuaded to see him as like slight, like soft guilty, but she's hard guilty. Why would you <laughs> say just soft, so soft guilty? Because I do. Part of me does feel like, like maybe he just shouldn't have said that to her. Well, <laughs> like, what did he actually say? He said that the tabby is his favorite of the cats, which I mean, look, is that yeah. really that bad? No, but I feel like there is a little bit you, of knowing your audience here. And especially it's like, if it's your significant other and you're trying to yes. trying to be on their good side. You're trying yes. to be Why like, would you like talk about like again, it's not as extreme, but it's like if they had two kids and you were like, Oh yeah, the boy is way better. <laughs> like, well, and especially too, like if there's a few like let's say she has I'm going to just put in my head four cats. I'm gonna say this is more than <laughs> Yeah. You know. Yeah, why would you go, Oh, that's my favorite? Because then it's like, oh, do you just not you don't like the rest of my cats? What's wrong with the rest of my cats? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what I really want to know is, are they still together after this little kerfuffle? We don't know. Yeah, this is a fresh one, so that because might not be Because this could be a catastrophe. You know, you say the wrong cat, and if what this kind girl... Of a catastrophe? A cat catastrophe. <laughs> okay, yeah this, yeah, this girl could be very attached to her cats, as she should be, but potentially in an unhealthy manner that's like, oh, you don't like the rest of my cats? Well, give me that one back, and you can leave. But also at the same time, I could see him being like, "No, this is my cat now. I'm not." That could be a different case we're gonna have. <laughs> that would that would be an actual legal case. That's a legal case. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready to. We need to sign a punishment to uh, Arlene. I have one right off the dome here. Go ahead. I I, I think dome we me. Uh, we uh, surgically insert uh, suction cups into her hands mm -hmm. and make her be stuck to the back of a car window for let's say probably, a week. Probably has to be bigger. Bus window. We'll go with bus window. Okay, a bus or yeah. like a, some kind of a big van. Yeah, a big van. Uh, bus. She's got yeah. she, all her hands and feet. She like like Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. She's got to be suctioned to the back window for one week. Uh, I'm gonna add on to that that she has to um, trade in her cats for a week for the same amount of large dogs. That's a different <laughs> mindset. <laughs> large dogs. Because like taking care of a cat, you don't have to take a cat out for a walk or or that kind of stuff. No, she has a large, like, like a, like a Marmadukes, Marmaduke style dogs. I forgot, was that a Greyhound? That's a Great no. Dane, yeah. Great Dane. Great Dane. So she has to, yeah, the same amount, one to one. She has to, to go off for okay. a walk. Yeah. Fair. Very fair. Very fair. Fair and balanced. Hey, let us know if you're watching this, what you think of this case. Do you play favorites with your cats or dogs or maybe birds or lizards or some shit if you're one of those freaks? Let us know. You can drop a comment on the YouTube version of the video if you're watching or if you're listening. You can always email us, geeksontrial at gmail.com. Same place you can go to submit your own geeky case, whether it has to do with being a cat lady or whether you're a coin collector, stamp collector, game player of some kind. Perhaps you're a big sports head. Mm -hmm. We'll count it as geeky. You submit the case. We'll settle it on the air. You also got a form you can do that with. There's a link in the episode description. Check it out. And you can help us support the show and help support our animals because we both have animals that are they're hungry the animals mm -hmm. need to eat and get the they're suction so cups hungry. they have to get the suction cups renewed on their paws every now and then head on over to geeks uh patreon.com slash geeks on trial five dollars a month is all we're asking and you get so much for that you get early access to this video the audio version and once a twice a month you gain geeks on trial sidebars great fun show fun times us laughing having a great time hell we might talk about cats at some point in the show. Memory all alone in the moonlight. Has We're... the moon lost her memory? What's your favorite cat from the show Cats? Oh, probably um, Old Deuteronomy. Mm. I like Mr. Mistopheles. Mm -hmm. Where can people find you when you're not watching the, the new Cats movie? Uh, on repeat. It's, it's on. It's on repeat every damn day in my house. <laughs> you bought a hundred uh, inch TV just to repeat mm -hmm, some, mm -hmm. some every key. room. Yeah, I have projectors yeah. set up every everywhere I look. There's cats playing. It's it's quite annoying. Right over there, I'm seeing a uh, McCavity doing a little dance right now.
So where can they I find know them you? all. If I'm not doing that, you can find me at my website, JonathanEstes.com. You'll find links there to all me on the Blue Sky social medias. Uh, you can find my cat Instagram where I post pictures of my cats over there too, which is at Jonathan Estes as well. Uh, and whatever else is your fancy, just follow me over there. How about you, Ivan? You can see me writing for Cat Fancy Magazine. That's not. Is that even a magazine anymore? Sure, know, maybe. All right. Why not? Uh, IvanHan.com, uh, Ivan R. Han on Instagram, and head on over to YouTube.com slash the snack guy for where I go review snacks. I make shorts, I make longs, I make regulars, all kind of videos about snacks that you want to get. You can head over there to the snack guy on the YouTubes. Hey, cool. Oh, until next time. I'm Ivan Han. I'm Jonathan Estes and uh, court is settled closed for today, baby. Meow. <laughs>